Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So, you know, when Nika is, hmm, she's having a severe case of delusion once again. So, you know what? Um, let me go ahead and share my screen. So she came on here, titled this video, Don't Threaten My Family or Ask Questions, Obsessed Respect, right? So she's claiming that, you know, someone th um, got in contact with one, with one of her aunties and threatened her or whatever. And the thing with this is, you know what, Nika? Um, threatened? Mm, no, they did not. You know, Nika's very confused. I guess she's just trying to get the sympathy that she see my jazzy life getting. And that's not going to happen for you, Nika. I mean, let me just go ahead and get it, get with the video. Let me just go ahead and start it right, from right here. But my family has been three, and I don't like men like that. And also being questioned too as well. Sorry, y'all, but yeah, I don't think she understands what the word threatened means, just like she doesn't understand what the word discrimination means as well. So let's just go ahead and continue. Now, my aunt calls me, I mean, well, she texts me a long text. I got a chance to read it last night. And then when I seen a part that um, somebody's calling, I mean, texting me, harassing me about you and your children, I don't like it. So I read the whole thing. And I comment to her, I said, well, I will make a YouTube. And Auntie did not mention anything about threatening and harassing Nico. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Especially when you're going to show us all the text messages that Auntie sent you. Why are you lying? So let me go ahead and read it. She says, hey, beautiful. What's up? Listen, why is this girl named Monique Tate texting me off your pages? Asking me and questioning me, and questioning me about why I don't go and visit you and your kids. She said, you're not taking care of your kids. I block her off my phone. I don't have time for this. That's why I got Kevin out my house. That girl got it real bad for you. Take care of the things she's saying. Not good, love, auntie. Where do you hear her say that she was being threatened and harassed? If somebody was threatening her, I'm pretty sure she would have said, you know, girl, they, they're talking about coming to beat me up if I don't come and get them kids from you. Um, they're talking about pulling up on me. Um, they're talking about, you know, um, bad things are going to start happening to me if I don't do something about you and the kids. No, she did not, boo. She said that this lady got in contact with her and was bad mouthing you. All right. Bad mouthing you. She, Miss Tate didn't say anything bad, didn't say anything wrong to an auntie. She was just asking her, you know, why aren't you involved in your nieces and nephews' lives? You know, uh, you know, Nika leaves them all the time. Sai is all, always sick, always needed to go um, take prescription meds and stuff like that. I mean, come on. But let's go ahead and continue. To video and get it addressed to a lot of people out there in the world that knows Nika and knows me well. Do not. Um, threaten my family members. Do not text them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything of that nature um, to get in contact with them about anything with my life. My life is my life. My family was never around when I started this YouTube thing, TikTok thing, anything. Just my children wasn't around. My family is not a target to any of you guys. Please do not put my family on the map like that. And what I mean is my aunt, she has a, uh, she's going through something right now and she don't need no more stress on her body she can bear. And I don't want her to go out here and have a heart attack because somebody's texting her on Facebook and asking questions about me and my kids or asking her why she's not there or why they're not a part of my life. Okay. Ma is a part of my life. We talk every day of our life. We text each other as possible to be as much as we can. But I ask y'all, please, anybody on the internet, do not text and target my family. Okay. If it didn't do with me, that's fine. My kids leave out of it. Leave my kids out of it. Leave my auntie out of it. Leave anybody that y'all may come in contact with, leave them out of it. Um, it's not that serious about Shanika's grant life, okay? It's not that serious that a lot of people on the internet knows that I am viral. I am out there. A lot of people know who I am. But it's not. No, nobody about. don't know who the fuck you are, Nika. You think that just because people know who you are, they, what, a couple, what, two of your videos have went viral? Boo. They're, they went viral for all the wrong reasons. It's not like they went viral because you was doing something right or you was doing something good in the videos. No, girl, they went viral for all the wrong reasons. One of her videos is still on TikTok of her cleaning up that nasty ass truck that she has. Oh, my goodness. 
Woo we. I mean, I think that had what got millions of views or whatnot. And that truck was so filthy, so embarrassing. And Nikki, Nick, Nika does these things on purpose just to see if she will go viral. That's why she keeps on recording the girls while she's doing their hair, washing her hair. That's why she keeps on recording them yelling, crying, and screaming because of the first video that she put up of who who was it? Kaya. That video had gotten what over 70,000 um views on YouTube. This was when Kaya was younger and she was doing her hair and Kaya was screaming and going crazy. And that's the reason why Nika wants to continue putting up those videos because she wants to go viral in her words. You know, the other video that went viral was what uh, Leo dropping um, Lena when she was a baby. So, I mean, girl, you're going viral for all the wrong reasons. That's nothing to be happy about. The point to where you sit up there, you're that evil and conniving to text a family member of mine and question them about me. That's crazy. But like I told her, I said, just go ahead and block them, which she, she said she already did. And um, I appreciate, you know, her doing that because she don't need all that stress. Like I said on the um, first part of the video, we don't need my family involved in Shanika's grant life, okay? We need to keep that off of social media. If they did do with me, personally, honestly, you have Facebook, you have TikTok, you have Twitter, you have Threads, you have Instagram. And you also got TikTok that you can reach out to me and inbox me, text me, whatever you want to say to me, threaten me or whatever that age. I don't care. Just leave my family out of it because I don't feel like that's necessary for them to be doing that. What you think? That's crazy. Because when she texted me, okay, so the text was last night because she was worried. Um, we told you're not taking care of them. So why would you text my aunt and tell, tell her something like that? Your name is in the text, which will be on the video on this, on this right here. Um, I blocked off my phone. I don't have time. This is why blah 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 but that's really bad for that girl to say that about you and the kids when i know you know whatever um why she just why she gonna sit up there and lie and try to add shit at the end talking about when i know what what nico you just showed us the text message where does it say when i know what auntie didn't say that boo we you just showed us the text message why are you adding on words to it stupid Goodness gracious, I cannot with her. No, she did not just try to add on stuff to the text message that Auntie sent her when she just already showed us the full text message on the screen. Auntie did not say, um, what was it there? Let's run that back real quick. Run it back. But that's really bad for that girl to say that about you and the kids when I know, you know, whatever. What was you about to say after that? When I know that you take care of your kids... Shut the fuck up. We just seen it, Nika. Why are you lying? <laughs> Girl, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> so stupid. Um, blah, blah, blah. She said things she's not saying. She said, I'm um, kind of like, the girl got it real Party bad. Like she said, the girl got it real bad for me. Take care. The things she's saying, not good. Love, auntie. And I, and um, she said, especially said she loved me again. She said, be safe. This girl is questioning me about why I don't visit you about your kids and all this stuff. I told, her, I told her, don't be questioning me about where should I go, what should I do, or what's going on with your oh, kid. You and text somebody's auntie and um, ask them why they're not coming to see me and the kids or why they this, that, and the third. My aunt has a health issue. I don't want my aunt having a stroke, a heart attack, or anything because of something that's going on in my life that my aunt has nothing to do with. Because when the time I got out here on the internet, my aunt was there, but she didn't have nothing to do with my life. But if you see me react with my aunt on Facebook or whatever, Facebook is the page where family gets to know exactly what's going on with me and in my life. That's First and foremost, you know what? Uh, Nika, Nika has no relationship with her family. Okay, maybe um, you know, maybe she talks to them on, on Facebook every now and then, every now and then. But she has no real her kids don't even know who the fuck their cousins are. Like, really, really. You know, over these past years that Bika has been on YouTube or TikTok, you never heard her say anything about, oh yeah, because you know, us black people, we we always barbecuing in the summer. We always doing something. So we don't ever hear her talking about, oh yeah, I'm about to go over to my cousin's house. We about to play cards or I'm about to go to, um, you know, I'm about to go hook up with my auntie, my uncles. We about to go over there for a barbecue, nice and eat. We about to go hang out with grandma because they, they throwing a, a per birthday party for her. We don't ever hear her saying anything like this. You know, 
we don't hear her saying that she's about to go ahead and get um together with her kid the kids cousins and all that so they can all get to know each other at the park or whatnot no we don't hear her saying nothing those kids are confined to that trailer or whatever trailer they live in at the current moment they don't go nowhere they don't nika doesn't take she doesn't be she she does not go around her family um, you know, more than likely because she's embarrassed. I mean, y'all, we know how families are. Um, if you don't come to, well, I don't know because Sumter's different. It's like Sumter is a whole different fucking country separate from everybody else in the U S I mean, I don't know. People live under a rock there. So maybe, but you know, when you go to family functions, everybody needs to be tiptoe in it. G good to go out the door, head to toe looking right. But I mean, yeah, so that's probably maybe the reason why. And then also Mika's kid. I mean, you know, I don't think her kids are bad, though, you know, when she, except for, you know, Lena. That's the only one who's bad. But all the other kids is cool. So I don't know why she don't take them around her family members. That's not for y'all to go out there and put them out there like that. That's not right. Now, me, that's perfectly fine. And that's OK with me to put me out there. But my aunt has nothing to do with this. I just want to address that so that she can see this video when she does um, go onto my YouTube channel to know that. Don't shut the fuck up. Auntie don't watch you. She's not watching you because if she did and if she was one of those aunties, she would have been talking to you and addressing you on what you do in these videos. So stop. Auntie's not watching you and she's not checking for you, boo. I did address a lot of people on um, harassing her and questioning her about me and my children um, and things of that nature. At the end of the day, um, you know, it's family over everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, my aunt, I love her to death, and I don't want her to sit up here and feel like, oh, well, she didn't get, she didn't make the video of addressing these people, telling them to leave me alone, stop harassing me, stop asking me questions, or whatever of that nature. Um, I also had another incident where um, somebody tried to contact Keisha or something like that a long time ago. Get you taking us something long ago. What the fuck, bitch? I mean, what? Somebody contact Keisha a long time ago. You should have brought that shit up a long time ago then. The hell? Well, people need to be contacting Keisha. Matter of fact, people need to be contact contacting Keisha's family to see if there is something wrong with Keisha. Because I'm confused at well, how she she's your friend spending thousands of dollars on you and your kids. And she's not trying to give you advice and correcting your behavior, acting more like a mother and a dog, acting more like your age. I mean, come on, come on. Like some, something's got to be wrong with Keisha. <laughs> the hell? Like if there's no way that I'm going to be your friends with somebody or somebody I consider a friend and I, and they have a YouTube channel to where I'm watching and they behave like Nika, act like Nika towards, oh no, oh no. Like, what does that say about me? The fuck? I'm cool with you and no, I don't condone that shit. No, I'm going to let you know. Um, inboxing her saying all kind of things too as well. And I want to address that too. Um, don't be bringing up nobody's name in, in my videos uh, or in my comment section of anybody of that nature because um, the point of I met Keisha from the internet from TikTok and I love her dearly and I really do respect her in all means necessary. You know I'm saying? There's a lot going on right now with her too as well and I'm praying for her and the family. But at any, anybody that comes close in contact to Nika does not mean that they are a bad person because y'all feel like I'm a bad person, which I'm not because I got my kids that can be a living testimony and, 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 and you know, vouch for me on that nature and people that have been vouch for shit. Where are these kids at now, Nika? Out, line them up, line them up. I want to I want to hear them vouch for you. Where are your kids at now? Where are your kids at now? Because all you all you doing is what sitting in a car with Nika Jr. What y'all about to do? Leave and go to bingo? Which you know, Nika's not really dressed and made up, so I don't, I don't know if she's about to go to bingo. So they could be sitting outside in the car, outside the house. Why does Nika Junior always have to be right there? Bitch, you can't sit outside your own house, but what by yourself? Why does her lazy ass always have to be sitting in the passenger seat everywhere you go? Like it's ridiculous. Has been around me for years can bounce on that too as well people don't really know who you are inside or out until they get to know you and grow with you and that's the thing with the internet and social media like people are so miserable because of the fact that they know they may not have a life but at the same time you can't bring somebody else down because of the fact that they know you feel like it's necessary you can do that through a glass screen and it's different between the point no no nika nobody's not bringing you down we're voicing our opinions and voicing what we see we're going based off of what we see you doing, how we see you acting, what you talk about all the time. We, 
I'm reacting on what you do. If you don't do it, then I won't have nothing to react on. It's as simple as that, girl. I mean, what you don't understand? What you what do you don't understand? Point of being in front of somebody and actually not being in front of somebody and you talking about them and dragging them down in the mud like they're nobody. And that's not fair to anybody. So I'm a calm, I'm very calm, cool, and collected as I do this video because of the fact that they know what my aunt to understand that I do understand exactly where she's coming from when somebody is going on to Facebook and questioning her and asking her questions about my personal life or things I got going on with my kids to save the kids. There's nothing wrong with these kids in this household. Um, there's no harm being done in this household. And of course, we already How the fuck you know. You ain't never there. You go all fucking day. Want to come back at what? Seven, what? Seven in the evening. Drop off three pizzas. Leave right back out. Hit up all the fucking eateries and all the bingo halls and Sumter. And then you want to return home late at night. Like I said before, loud as fuck. I mean, girl, what? Or until one day, well, one of these days, well, on the weekends in which you want to sleep all the way until four o'clock in the afternoon. Baby side haven't ate a damn thing. She's up fucking screaming. All the kids do is put fucking juice or pop in her damn bottle and stuff it in her mouth. That's it. She's still in a shitty, dirty ass diaper. I mean, girl, nobody has eaten anything. Well, oh, now since you went, but you know, when she went shopping, I didn't see her pick up like, you know, things for the kids to eat for lunch. Or unless I might have missed it. I don't know. But, you know, I didn't see her pick up, you know, things that they could quickly just grab and eat. Pop-Tarts, um, Lunchables, what, what, I mean, Hot Pockets, noodles. That's one thing that she, that she got. I mean, but, you know, how long is the noodles going to last? All them kids in the house. So, I mean, what? I still didn't see her pick up nothing else. What, no chicken nuggets? What? What else? I mean, come on, girl. Pick up stuff that you that your kids can eat. Uh, bread. Did she even get bread? No, I didn't see her get no bread. Did she get peanut butter jelly? What? I saw um Naya pick up one fucking what um lunch meat for herself. Ooh, I want this. That's all I kept on hearing when they was going shopping. Ooh, I'm gonna get this. Ooh, I'm gonna get that. Oh, yes, this, yes, that. And it was like they were on a budget. Naya was like, oh, no, I don't know if you want to get that. That's um kind of too expensive or whatnot. Girl, the fuck she's getting, she gets close to $2,000 in fucking food stamps. You guys can afford some good cereal. Stop it. Stop. But then want to turn around and get the bowls, the name brand bowl cereal, the Captain Crunch, the Fruity Pebbles for, you know, herself or get the kids the generic cereal that tastes like the cardboard. Like, come on, make it make sense. But, you know, CPS is involved in my life, you know, at this time, like all the rest of the other years when um, CPS got involved in my life. I just feel like. I don't think nobody can ever step into my my world and take care of my children the way I do. Nobody going to give unconditional love and do what I do. Foster care. Nika, anybody can do what you do. What, be gone for hours out the day and then pop up, bring them fucking three pizzas, leave back out? Anybody can do what you can do. What are you talking about? But anybody who do take these kids in, they can do better than what you can do. Foster care is not for these kids and they feel like that's what is necessary for these kids to be in foster care and I feel like that is not right to actually feel like they could take kids from a mother who loves her children unconditionally when you got a lot of kids out here being abused and neglect and don't have the help that they can get you know to get away I really do be trying to figure out and really try to understand what really goes on in this lady's head but you know I mean Jesus like can't nobody just be this damn dumb really I mean Somebody could just cannot be this oblivious. I mean, how can they sit around and let this lady procreate and make all bring all these babies into the world? And we know she has a fucking problem. Like, really? How is this possible? Like, something has to be done about this because this is just crazy to me. Like, Nika, you're not neglecting them. What do you think? What do you think you what, what do you think you're doing? When you leave a one and a half year old at home all fucking day and night with your kids, what do you what do you think that is, girl? And then you also have other kids all under the age of five 
what how many kids i what i said is five right so you, what you have four kids under the age of five come on away from this situation like i said i've been out here too many times in my life addressing um certain things on social media about what i've been through as a kid and i wish i could have got away from it but i ran away when i was 17. now a lot of times i, I want to say it too many times too is people using my book against me and i don't like that i don't like when people just go like you know when well, you can do this you can do that blah 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 they're using that the, the book is a healer is it's, it's there to let people that going through the same life situation I went through to understand and know that I did by anyways that book all that book is is for Mika to have something to use as an excuse for everybody to get, pity her and give her fucking sympathy that's the only reason why she made the book so that people can be like oh okay so she went through that as a child so oh now I see what's going on now I see where she's coming from and you know okay so I'm gonna just be more sympathetic to her and you know like girl goodbye I don't get I don't care I don't care I'm not I'm not here to be making excuses for a grown ass woman who's fucking 40 years old with 10 kids. Stop playing with me. No, 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 no. You get no sympathy from me. I'm not, no, I'm not with it. So, um, you know, one more of the story is Nika, nobody threatened Auntie. All right. All they did was ask her questions. I don't think the lady was even disrespectful to Auntie because Auntie would have said it. All she was was just um, asking her questions and then also talking shit about you to Auntie. So, hey, you know, make sure you wrote your, your, your stuff right. Look up the definition for words before you come out here and try using them. Stop trying to jump on everybody else's um stuff or what they're doing like jazz over there talking about people messaging um her daughter threatening her daughter or whatnot she's a liar too nobody's fucking threatening her daughter no girl they the messages were, weren't for your daughter they were for you the fuck if you wasn't using your daughter's phone number then that would never have happened but anyways y'all go ahead and like this video go ahead and comment your thoughts down below and subscribe hey i will talk to you guys later peace